Hey everybody, Chris Engelbert with Engelbert Financial Advisors in Allentown, Pennsylvania with the weekly Rotella update. We're actually rebranding this. We used to call this Fridays with Chris, but we're gonna rebrand it and call it from now on the Engelbert Angle because a lot of times I give you news, events, updates, uh, as far as what's going on in the markets. But today we're talking about something very interesting. And sometimes people fantasize about this, obviously winning the lottery, et cetera, but what to do when you get a financial windfall. And what we mean by that is over my tenure as a financial advisor, I have seen all of these different circumstances where unexpectedly or sometimes expectedly, people get a large sum of money. For example, they may sell a business that they've been working at for 25 or 30 years and realize millions of dollars. They may get an executive buyout. If they're an executive at a large company, they get a golden parachute that's worth a couple of million dollars, or they may get some type of inheritance from a long lost aunt. Well, we see the same things happen every time people get an unexpected windfall. And we wanted to kind of walk through what people should really do and what they should think about. One of the first things I talk about is if you get an unexpected windfall is to do absolutely nothing for three to six months. And what we mean by that is take the cash. And I know I've talked about putting, uh, not keeping a lot of money in your checking account, but put it in your checking account or put it in an investment account in a money market fund. And I know money market funds aren't really paying that much right now, but you wanna be able to have this lump of cash sitting there so that you can then start figuring out what you wanna do. Many people uh, have a lot of consternation and a lot of angst when they receive a large sum of money because they don't know what to do with it. It's totally unexpected. Uh, they haven't really planned for it. And they're really, you know, they really experience a lot of uh, uh, anxiety as far as what happens when they get a lot of money. So we tell them, put it into a very safe account for three to six months. And then what you need to do is assemble your team of professionals. The best thing you could possibly do would be to get your attorney, your CPA, and your financial advisor all in the same room to talk about what to do with this money because you're going to experience, depending upon how much it is, a lot of different ideas, a lot of different thoughts. Unfortunately, uh, if people know that you sold your company for $100 million, or you got an executive buyout for $10 million, or you inherited a couple of million dollars, you're going to give people, you're going to give people giving you your opinions on what you should do with your money, but more importantly, how it would involve them as well. So assemble your team of financial advisors, attorneys, and CPAs, get them all in one room, talk about all the tax ramifications as far as this windfall, because sometimes uh, mistakenly, many people think that, hey, I sold my company and I got a check for $100 million. There may be a gigantic tax obligation at the other end of that. Uh, not so much so with the, uh, inheriting money, but for example, if you get a, a windfall from an executive stock option uh, exercise or a bonus being paid to you, you may have to figure out how you minimize the taxes on this. Now, lastly, the other thing that you have to do is you have to protect yourself. When you get one of these windfalls, you are now in a whole nother realm uh, as far as protection goes. You should really take a look at what you're going on as far as your life insurance. Now, we don't sell life insurance here, but we help people uh, as far as what's going on uh, and how are you gonna protect yourself uh, and your loved ones depending upon how much this windfall is. Because many times uh, uh, estate planning taxes can have a huge bite out of an exceptionally large windfall. The other thing is, do you put, need to put this money into a trust? Uh, that's where the attorney comes in because you can talk about how to protect this money. Because again, many times what people don't realize is if somebody knows they can sue you because you have a couple of million dollars because you're driving a brand new Mercedes Benz, they will come out of the woodwork to try to sue you because they know they can get money from you. The other thing is, again, estate planning. What are you going to do as far as planning uh, the estate? Because now if you've gotten this windfall, you may have a situation where uh, estate taxes come back to bite you. So again, assemble your team, uh, have them give you written presentations on what you should do with this lump sum windfall that you get from either selling a business, uh, you know, getting an executive bonus, winning the lottery, uh, or inheriting the money. Because again, 
This is something that most people have never experienced in their lives. I, as a financial consultant, have gone through this a couple of dozen times with clients. Some of them have ended up and done very well. Others, it hasn't been pretty. Uh, the money has literally gone away uh, in less than 10 years. So again, the other point that I want to make is that when you are working with these executives, uh, as far as you know, your estate planning attorney, your CPA, your financial advisor, make sure you follow through on all the steps. We've seen people get a windfall. They've met with us. They've invested the money. They've went out and bought a new property, a couple of new cars. And we've suggested that they need additional life insurance, that they should set up a trust, a couple of other things that they should do. And they never end up finishing it all. And guess what? It can end up very badly. So again, uh, if you get a windfall, it's great news. It's super. Uh, we hope everybody goes out and wins the lottery uh, this weekend. That'd be wonderful for everybody. But again, if you do win a windfall uh, or you do get a windfall, there are things that you have to do. So that's the Engelbert Angle for this week. We'll be back next week. We'll talk to you soon.